Hey, it's Phil's Good Man, finally back with a new video, and this time it's to introduce the new Crunker app. Um, and I've been working on this app for quite a long time, and I'm really excited to finally introduce it to you guys. As the main developer of this app, I'm gonna show you why I think it's truly the best way to enjoy Crunker on a mobile device. Whether you're playing the game or using any of the companion app features like checking the market or buying KR, you can think of it as the ultimate Crunker app because previously we had two different apps. There was the original Crunker Hub app, and after that, I joined the team to create the Crunker client, which was focused on playing the game, the mobile version at least. So essentially, there was an app that was like a companion experience and then an app for playing, but it didn't really make sense to have two separate apps. So with a new Crunker app, you aren't losing anything. You get 100% of the features that were in the Crunker Hub and 100% of the performance and controls customization, plus some more. Um, in fact, the Crunker app, um, which is what we'll be calling it, it's available as an update to the Crunker Hub app. And for anyone that doesn't have it, I'll include a link in the description below. Before I begin the tour of this app, um, I just wanna say to all the Crunker mobile players out there, thank you so much for waiting for this. The new app um, consolidates the code bases of the two previous apps. Both iOS and Android uh, are now in one code base, which is gonna be really good for doing updates in the future. I already have iOS working. I just need a week or two to debug and test and then I'll get that out to you guys. So let me give you guys a quick rundown of the app. Here's a new UI and the home screen. And you can see that it's now in the horizontal landscape mode, which we think just makes a lot more sense because it's a mobile FPS game. And you can do your free KR here. And the great thing about this uh, home screen is that you can sort of chill in the home screen without worrying about battery life drain. Um, one problem with the Crunker client app was that it was really battery life intensive if you ran it in the background. Um, but with the new Crunker app, you don't have to worry. You have the shortcuts to featured custom games. And in the future, we're gonna curate some mobile friendly ones. So it should be really nice. So moving on to the tabs at the bottom. First, of course, you know, you could buy your KR um, as you could before. And you could do some spins. So let's buy some KR really quick. Okay, and just going to do a few spins here. Oh, nothing too good yet. Uh, season 5 items. Oh! Nice, nice. We got a relic. Um, oh, blue. So yeah, I mean, you could just do spins if, if that's all you wanted to do. Moving on, here's the profile page. And then um, we have social on the right-hand side just convenient way to access social. So you log in using the profile page and then that login is shared across um, social as well as the play screen. So let's go back to um, home and then to the left of that we have um, market. So you can see some of the season five items. You could even check your trades here. So pretty much all the capabilities that you have. And then leaderboard and then to the left of that is info screen. Um, just some basic info for people who are new to the app and also have um, a reset cache button which clears all your data. Um, just convenient way so you don't have to reinstall the app if you want to change something or you're testing or debugging. Um, so I'm going to jump into playing Crunker. So we talked about the hub features, now I'm going to be talking about the Crunker client features or you know features that were in the Crunker client. Um, and that are now in this app. Um, first of all, you can see on the top right, um, getting some great FPS. Locked at like 144, just about, um, which is really nice. So the performance so far has been better for me than the Crunker Client app. And then also it's been better um, than the browser version, version of the game as well for me. So, that's good and great, but what about controls customization? Well, in order to keep the performance as good as possible, I had to make it so that none of the UI elements overlap with the play screen. So new UI system, the bottom, you can see that there's a swipe up to open the drawer. And we have some convenient controls like refresh, F5, new game button, which just gets you in a new lobby. App home takes you back to the home screen and then hide bar, go back to full screen. So if I want to, um, edit my control scheme, I can go hit this button. And no matter where you are in the game, um, you can like adjust the size of these buttons. You know, uh, if I want to do this, make it bigger. Say I want to drag mode. 
then I can actually drag the buttons around. So let's put, if I let's say I want to put the reload button here for some reason, and then you can see that um, it applies, and then I can make finer adjustments using the sliders. So um, now you have the drag mode and sliders. Um, the drag mode's experimental right now, so uh, I am working on it. But um, sometimes you may encounter bugs, so that's just something to keep in mind. That's it for now. I think you guys are going to really enjoy the app. Um, once again, iOS is going to be available in about one to two weeks time. And then after that, updates to this app are going to happen at the same time. With that, um, I want to thank everybody so much for your amazing support of my channel, even while I was gone. And to be honest, um, this app was extremely hard to create. Um, and I did most of the work on the app myself. And I was really just grinding to focus and complete the app. Um, however, it has been a really incredible opportunity to work with the Crunker team, and I learned so much from it. Um, the Crunker team is actually even smaller than you would expect, so it's quite amazing um, what they're able to do. And we're working very closely together now um, to not only improve the app, but just mobile in general. So you can look forward to a ton of improvements, more frequent updates, and then we're also looking at other platforms as well. Looking back over the past year, uh, I was kind of in this unique position where I started as a content creator and then became a developer and I was kind of doing both at the same time. Uh, going forward, I'm going to be using this YouTube channel for mobile dev updates as well as doing more like fun videos rather than um, the educational content I've done in the past. I still get comments about how much people enjoyed um, my content, which is really great to hear. But at the same time, um, I think that my experimental approach where I was testing things out, um, figuring things out about the game doesn't make as much sense when I can just easily access the code. So it's kind of almost like a conflict of interest, if you know what I mean. So I want to do different types of content, more fun stuff. Um, like, you know, next video is going to be about like building my house in Krunker. Um, now that I'm, you know, a developer, I think this type of content is going to be a better fit. And honestly, it's been a really good thing for me as a whole. And in the meantime, you know, we're just going to keep on making Crunker Mobile better, Crunker better in general. So thank you guys so much for watching until the end of this video. This has been Feels Good Man, and see you guys next time.